welcome to the interactive body balance radio show for health and fitness tips. Right back at it, team. Saturday morning, August 19th, 2023. Hope you're doing very well. Mike Dasek here from Interactive Body Balance. And I just wanted to bring you another show on the questions I get from around the world. Thank you so much. All right, it's been always a crazy time in our family, as you guys know. Summertime. Uh, well, summertime up here in Canada, if you're in the southern hemisphere, it is still the winter time. So, uh, you know, and this show is global. So thank you guys so much. But what have we been up to lately? As you guys can imagine, uh, kids are in sports. Matter of fact, it's real early on Saturday morning here. And we have hockey today and soccer tournaments today. And I'm trying to get this podcast in. Well, they sleep because that is the only time we can do it, and it's always a busy place. So, okay, question I'm getting a lot lately. As you guys may or may not know, I work with a lot of uh, athletes, so we do a lot of um, testing, you know, coaching, uh, physical coaching, mental coaching. We do a lot of that stuff with, with professional athletes, people, even that we're athletes, so now they're, you know, in their 30s or 40s, and they understand this way of life. I also have helped coach uh, the kids, right? So our kids have played multiple sports, as I said, soccer, hockey, martial arts, they do everything. Horseback riding, no, I don't coach horses. I know nothing about horses, but I've coached multiple hockey teams. So we work with a lot of young athletes too that, that are playing at the elite level for their age, right? So if it's AAA, AA, whatever it may be, competing. So this question comes up a lot. And what is that question? Well, if you read the title, you would know, and it is about Prime. And, you know, they talk about Prime energy drinks. They talk about Prime hydration drinks. Um, people talk about, well, let's go deeper, right? They talk about BioSteel. They talk about Gatorade, Powerade, all of this kind of stuff. But the big one in 2023 is obviously Prime. And uh, they're using it. There's two main drinks, the energy drink, like I said, and the hydration drink. Okay. So I think everybody knows who, who are the owners or co-founders of this and Logan Paul, KSI. Um, they're obviously people, call them influencers, uh, and, and they're around this. So in Canada, in Canada, right? And this different per country as you can imagine because everyone has the regulations. The two drinks, energy and hydration, prime energy um, in July of 2023 uh, was banned from Canada. Uh, they are not allowed, they're no longer allowed to sell it in Canada. Uh, you know, people in the company will say that it never was sold here. It was just black market. So it doesn't matter to me about that stuff. I don't really care. Uh, Canada banned selling it because of the, the caffeine content per bottle. I believe the Canadian authorities, um, you know, the, the agencies up here, let's just say, uh, no longer want to see any drinks with more than 180 milligrams of caffeine, I believe Prime had 200 milligrams of caffeine. So any any energy bottle that has more than 180 is no longer allowed to be sold in Canada. I'm not going to focus on the Prime Energy drink today. I'm just giving you an example. Um, you know, it was never intended for kids due to the caffeine level anywhere in the world, I believe. So those drinks there should be um, not consumed by kids. That's Prime Energy, okay? But that's not the point of this show. Today's show is Prime Hydration. So we have... Many kids include my own, and they've tried a hydration drink from Prime. Uh, they like the taste of it, uh, they, they're all that good stuff. But we're going to talk about the viability of the hydration drink, alternatives, or what you could do. So many of you know, and, and you do, it's, I think it's, again, I don't know, I just add them to the bill whenever I go to the stores. But I think just call it 4 or $5 for, for a hydration drink of Prime Canadian. Uh, any other energy, any not energy hydration drinks are you know two three dollars as well you know Gatorades Powerades whatever they are doesn't matter so you know they're they're a little bit more expensive a couple dollars more and we're gonna kind of go into the mechanisms right now uh, and stay with me because this is important okay and let me just say this as well too to each his own market whatever you want this group. I have no affiliation with anybody I'm talking about here, no affiliation with any brand, uh, you know, no sponsorships with any of these brands, nothing. I don't get paid a dime. I'm just going to give you 
the marketing and then the science. There's two different things, right? The Logan and uh, KSI have done a great job marketing this. It's blown up around the world. And the marketing, the second to none, right? You can imagine that. Excellent at getting this product out there and getting it into the kids' minds. Mind share, right? Market share, mind share. You know, guys who work in business, so I get all this stuff. Did a great job. Then there's the science behind any of these products. Or just in general, I'm going to tell you at the end. Okay. Hydration when you're when you're sweating. When you sweat, you lose a lot of sodium. Salt sodium, right? Um, using those two terms interchangeably. You lose a lot of sodium, right? You obviously lose some potassium as well. When you sweat most of it, and I have a little chart here uh, because I do this all the time. When you sweat, right, most of it's gonna come from the uh, from the sodium. Right? Again, like I mentioned, some potassium, obviously there's chloride in there, phosphate, you know, bicarbonate, all this kind of stuff. So just, just remember this. There's a reason why I'm going places with this, all right? Mainly when you do that, you're sweating, you're losing a lot of sodium, okay? If you look, and some potassium, if you look at the, the prime energy drink, for example, and I have a lot of this data up here right now, in the prime energy drink, there is only... 10 milligrams of sodium so if you're losing a lot wouldn't you want to replenish a lot of the sodium that you lost with a hydration drink because you're trying to rehydrate you're trying to get your body and your your levels back up right so just follow me here right so there's not a lot of sodium in that drink in a rehydration drink for example right if you look at other drinks if it's a powerade or a gatorade and all that stuff 270 milligrams of sodium and I'm looking at the nutrition facts right now. So 10 milligrams of sodium in a prime hydration drink, 270 milligrams of sodium, so 27 times the number in other brands, right? So they're getting that right where if they want to rehydrate you and get your electrolytes back up, they're doing it properly. See, not not that great in a, in a prime drink for the sodium to rehydrate yourself and get those levels back up. Just, just something to me, potassium, right? Potassium in a prime drink is 700 milligrams. So you guys are getting the point here, right? There is a lot of potassium, you know, some would say 15, 20% of your daily value. Um, you know, so think about that, 700 mgs. So a lot of potassium in that hydration drink, but think about it when, just went over this, when you sweat, when you get rid of those electrolytes, right? Way more sodium, like 10 times more is excreted when you sweat and you're training hard. Like call it hockey, call it martial arts, call it, I don't care. So you're losing 10 times more sodium than you are potassium. But in these drinks to rehydrate you, they're giving you 15, 20, 30, 40 times more potassium, right, than sodium to rehydrate. And again, just worth noting, right, there's different, sodium is different in sweat than in your plasma, than in intracellular water. Same with potassium, but I'm giving you the exact data facts right on how to do this. We're not talking about blood, you know, plasma uh, content of sodium, even though it's still very high, as you guys can imagine, and all the other ones, right? But just, just on that, on that note there, right? So think about it there. Um, it just goes to the point: electrolytes are always lower in sweat more than they are in blood, right? Water is lost faster than the electrolytes. Just simple stuff, okay? So. All I'm saying here, though, is simple hydration techniques here is that if you're going to lose a lot of sodium, right, you might want to replenish that as well, not to mention the potassium levels are kind of inverse related. So it's great uh, that you're doing that and getting some potassium, but do you really need as much potassium? For example, in other hydration drinks, you know, I just mentioned 700 mgs of potassium, right, in the prime one, 75 mgs of potassium in other hydration drinks, right? So other... Gatorades, Powerades, whatever. So you can see, I guess you could kind of say maybe the other hydration drinks got the ratios right, right, of sodium and potassium. I'm not nitpicking. I'm just saying if you want to do this, you're paying double the amount of money for Prime, but they're not rehydrating with you with the electrolytes that you're losing, right? So just, I guess this is just science and I'm not going to go into this even more, but again, marketing science, look at the science. We love the science. We get a lot of questions on it from everything, not just on this, right, for health and hormones and weight loss and work ethic and, oh my good God, we get a lot of stuff. So all I'm trying to say though is that if you want to 
what you lose and you want to replenish it, you got to make sure you're looking at the science and the data to make sure that you're actually getting back in the drink what you've lost because that's what's going to make you feel better. That's what's going to hydrate you quicker. That's what's going to give you better performance to be a top performer. Makes sense? If it doesn't, let me know. I'm staring right at the data. I'm staring right at the labels. This is what they do. Also, another thing too, it says, you know, the prime drinks say low sugar, right? Uh, which they are, but they use sucralose, right? So they use other forms, and I'm looking at them right here, right? Other forms and other derivatives of sugar, other uh, similarities, right? So, you know, sucralose, and I don't, I've done a whole show on all this, these, you know, dextose, sucralose, all this stuff, right? But you can just say here, why is sugar important in general, right? So sugar is important at the right levels for the right age groups for various reasons. But in with respect to this podcast on hydration, sugar is important because glucose transports, that's glucose sugar, folks, if you don't know, but you're a smart audience, transports sodium. It helps transport sodium, chloride, and water across that intestinal barrier, right? So that's the thing. You do need glucose to rehydrate yourself because, again, it helps transport that sodium, the chloride, and water across the intestinal barrier. Get it? So without that glucose, you could be short of the electrolytes and the energy. That's why glucose in a bottle is important to get it, right? It gets those other electrolytes in um, across the intestinal barrier and then obviously into your body, into your cells, into the bloodstream, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So do you need high amounts of it? That's not for me. I don't own a supplement company. I don't sell supplements at all. Like, you know, how much do you need? That's up to them to decide. But don't get all caught up on the glucose and sucralose stuff, right? Because people will compare saying this one's better than that. All I'm saying is you do need it to do it. So just look at the numbers, see how many, see how much is in a bottle. And, you know, I always say, and this is just, you know, my way of looking at things, but, you know, four grams of sugar, that's a teaspoon, right? You, I don't typically, you know, or that's for all the other derivatives too, like I said. So four grams of whatever you're going to have, whatever type of sugar you're going to have, that's more than enough. You can have a little more, obviously. Other products like Coke, I believe has 40 grams and other ones have a lot. Just be careful that. Understand it's needed when you're rehydrating. We're talking about hydration drinks here, but watch the amount, right? That's, that's what we're saying. Lots more other things I can go into with coconut water and, and everything else and the amino acids in there, leucine, isoleucine, valine. So, you know, we're talking about different types of amino acids, not for this call. So what could you do if you don't want to spend a lot of money, right? So if you're sitting there and saying, well, I don't know if I want to spend all that money on energy drinks or hydration drinks, anyway, energy drinks too, but there. You know what works great, folks? You can get some water, put a little sodium, salt, whatever you want to call it in there. You know, there's different, there's Himalayan sea salt. There's different salts. We've done a show on that too. Get some water, put some salt in your drink and drink it. As I said before, that sodium, right? That sodium is going to help you a lot because that's what the primarily, primarily what you're losing when you sweat and you're really training hard and rigorous training is the sodium content. So rehydrate with the sodium. Pinch of salt in your drink. As I just said too, Sugar's needed in that that water. Let's so put a little sugar in there if you want to. A little half a teaspoon. That's like two grams, right? Um, you know, maybe a teaspoon, four grams. But you get you can put some sugar, some salt in a water drink. Really cheap, and you've just hydrated yourself immensely. Of course, you can put other stuff in there too. I have an electrolyte mix in my cupboard. So we're talking about electrolytes, like actual. You know, when you get into potassium and other minerals, what we've talked about too. You can go get like. Well, I can tell you, it's like 30 bucks. I won't even name a name brand. You need like a $30 bottle of electrolytes, right? Like the powder. Mine's lasted me three months so far, folks. Three months. Literally, it's crazy, right? So you can you can get it. It's 10 bucks a month, right? And you, can, you can do it by the day, 30 cents a day. <laughs> you get the point. Dump a little scoop of that in your water, right? Get that in there. So again, if you're trying to be cost effective, Electrolyte mix, some sodium if you want, some sugar, whatever you want in the water, you're rehydrated. A lot of big spenders on this call. And if you want to spend five, six dollars a drink, you know, times seven days, right? That's 35 bucks a week. You get the math. That's 70 bucks every two weeks, 140 bucks a month. You big difference. 140 versus 10. I'm just trying to help you out in these tough times, but you guys get the point on this. The science matters, but 
I know, I got that cool little eight-year-old. You want to look cool. You want to have the prime drinks in your hand. You want to be part of the group. I totally get it. I said we've purchased a few for our kids, the hydration ones, not the energy ones. I can't touch that. We've purchased the hydration ones, and they've had sips of it. They enjoy it. I totally get it. And so all I'm saying is that if you want to know the science behind it, I gave that to you. This is a longer show for me. And if you want to know an economical, feasible way to rehydrate yourself, my little athletes on this call, I just gave you a way to do that as well. Does this make sense? You can nod your heads. I hope it makes sense. So that is my little take on it. I God bless people who are entrepreneurs and want to make some good money and they want to do great things. I love it. I have, again, I have no affiliation either way. I, I, I commend people starting businesses and, and doing very well and trying to earn a dollar and try to help people. This is what we do. I'm just going to give you the science behind some of the stuff out there and if it makes sense for you, right? So is it a, a good thing for you? Have one once in a while? Absolutely do. Is whatever you want. I'm just giving you the mechanisms. Are you going to be properly rehydrated one way versus the other? See how I gave you a couple options. That's the way to do it. This morning, myself, getting real early out here in, in Ontario, right? So had a little drink of water, put a little creatine in there. Man, I love that creatine. It's a whole other show. I've actually done shows on it. I do have the electrolytes in there. And, you know, I've obviously had my healthy fats this morning. A lot, a lot. I'm still going to go train, right, right after this show. I want to get the show at first. But there we go. Anyone interested in or wanting to learn about the science and what's in those prime hydration bottles and kind of it could help you and could it you know is there other things you could do that's all the show is intended for i hope you enjoy it I'll give you a quick thing i don't even really want to say it but because i mean people know where to find me mike dacic.com m-i-k-e-d-a-c-i-u-k.com interactive body balance.com um i've got again we're, we're all over the mike dacic interactive body balance on social media instagram twitter facebook you can find us. We're just trying to share good information to help people uh, live good lives. And there we go. And then I'm going to close. You know, I got lots of kids and I love my kids. And we're going to spend the day with them again. Help <laughs> spend all the time with them. Kids, I tell them this all the time. You got to work hard. No substitute for hard work. You got to work hard, kids. Number two, you got to add value to this world. Number three, you got to help other people. You got to go away to help other people. Give your time. Give up your... Uh, the volunteer work, your charity, where you can, if you can give any money to wherever you want, two bucks, three bucks, just help people, pull out chairs, open doors, all that stuff. And number four, smile and have some fun. I hope you have fun. Great weekend, great year, great summer. What's just a few weeks left of it up here? This is what we do. Live with passion, live with purpose, live with intent. Hope you guys like the show today. I'm here to help you. I'm here to answer the questions as we've done. Talk to you real soon. Bye for now.